What's the crack lads? Welcome back to our Japanese epic player pack review. Yeah, I mean we've got three beasts here. We've got Nakata, we've got Ono, and we've got the legend that is Miura. Miura, is that how you pronounce his name? Miura. Yeah, I think that's it anyway. But anyway lads, we've got a 95 rated Miura, Nakata's 94 and Ono's 92, but we're going to train them a little bit differently because there are some unique stats about these guys. Um, yeah, I mean look, we will start with Ono, this guy is probably a very, I would say, even though he's got a lot of levels, right, he's got 40 levels, he's got standard form, he's got a lot of really nice player skills, double touch is good. Uh, soul control, chip shot control, one touch pass, weighted pass, low lofted pass and true passing. They're the key stats and player skills that you want to link up with your low pass, your lofted pass and your dribbling and acceleration type possession. They're the kind of key stats and player skills that you want for an attacking midfielder, right? This guy can only play attacking midfield. There's no real uh, point in playing him as a center mid. You know, you're going to play him as a classic hole player, classic number 10, as is his play style there, right? So I think I'm a bit like... Yeah, I don't know would this guy make my squad because of a couple of downfalls with his card, right? And we're going to get into it, right? So this is his card over on eFootball DB, and it is maxed out with the way I would train him. As I said, we got 78 progression points to go with 40 levels, which is a lot to play around with, and we're going to mix it up a little bit. We do have outside curler on this shot, and we do also have chip shot control. So we are going to take a couple of chances and shoot with this guy every now and again. So we do just pump four into that, and then we pump 12 into passing, and dribbling, 10 into dexterity, and 6 into lower body, right? So with that, I think you still are down a few key stats with this card, that even if you take the likes of Angel de Maria, or you take somebody like Simmons, or the new Pedri that they released, you've got a lot of uh, stats lacking, especially offensive awareness, acceleration, and I would also say balance as well for an AMF. You need to have if you don't have high offensive awareness for making the runs when you're not controlling the AI, you need to have high balance because you're going to be using that player a lot, you know, to get in and get out of shots, get in and get out of positions. Um, and I am a little bit disappointed with him that way as well. So yeah, look, standard form is a bit of a, a bit of a, a, a knock on this card as well. But saying that if you do spin him, you know, let me know because I do think he has nice stats. I just feel like they're just a little bit lower than where they need need to be because we only get 91 AMF overall on that. It's still fairly okay, but I just feel like he could have been a bit higher basically because he's an epic. Um, that's just my opinion. Now, we also have Nakata here as well. Nakata was one of my favorite players in eFootball 2022. And I do like Nakata because he's got a couple of unique stats and skills and I definitely think he could make a difference to your squad. There's something about certain players in eFootball that kind of has carried over from the Pez series is that sometimes when you look at a player's stats, um, they're different than when you actually play with a player, right? And I do think that Nakata is obviously going to be one of those guys, right? This is a young Nakata. He's only 18 years of age, so he was just starting off his career. Uh, his career. I don't know why I'm doing all these uh, funny pronunciations, but um, yeah, he is a fairly beastly, uh, beastly squad player, and then he's also got super sub, which is huge if you are looking to add a couple of players on the bench. Um, this guy's going to have unwavering form as well as locked on B form. So if you are a newcomer, that basically means that his form is going to be more up than down, and it means that you will get a stat boost if he has a form arrow in game that translates over from the B or the A, or the C, or the D form, that's usually on a player's card, right? So, when we actually take a look at his stats here, we do have super sub, as I have put here, we also have one touch pass, first time shot, long range shooting, so there's a lot of stuff going on here, he's also got long range drive, or long range curler, um, as they've renamed it, but the rest of his stats are quite decent, now I think he actually has very meta stats when you look at it here for an AMF, right? Apart from the offensive awareness, which you don't really need because the balance and the acceleration are there, he's got excellent ball control and dribbling, excellent passing, and he also has that acceleration with the player skills that you want there as a creative midfielder. So yeah, I think he's definitely a high point. This is one of the better cards. Now there was a legend version as well. Obviously that was more defensive minded because he had six onto aggression. He also had a lot onto physical contact, stamina, all of those, but he only had four 14 levels to go and then there was the legend edition with the 4 15 so yeah i do think that this this player tracks very very well i had him in eFootball 2022 and he was a monster for me i just feel like he was kind of let down a little bit by player skills but this card actually has a lot more player skills so i do think that you need to be shooting a lot of shots with him hence why we've put eight into shooting as well there and last but not least we have the man the myth the legend 
It is Miura. And this guy is still playing, lads. This guy is... Oh, man. I mean, he's just... What a player, man. What a player this guy has been. What a career he's had. And you can see here, he's a fresh-faced 26-year-old with this pack, um, which was back in 1993. And he's still playing man he's still playing he's an inspiration i'd be i'd be bait up man after you know playing astroturf uh one night a week my legs to be in bits so this guy is an inspiration he's an absolute beautiful beautiful player and his stats are really really good i would have liked to have seen a 99 rated version of him man as a like a proper proper legend like an icon um but we have to make do with this at the moment i think a lot of people will want to buy him because he is such a beast right but we've got first time shot we've got penalty specialist that's not going to really come into the fore too much with the penalties because you don't get that many depending on you know if you dribble in the box a good bit but he's got fighting spirit and then he's got a load of player skills that suit dribbling. So if you do like to kind of get on the ball a good bit, that is where you're going to find a lot of um, a lot of like differences between him and using somebody like, uh, I don't know, maybe Lewandowski or somebody like that that you're probably used to. Now, he is kind of like a mix between some of the best low rated players and with the player skills. And then he's also like got really good speed and acceleration. And he also has very, very good offensive awareness, right? He's not going to be getting on to the end of, like, headers. And, you know, you're not going to be able to use him as a target man. Um, a target man. But Fox in the box, he is very, very good at that. And this is how we've trained him up, right? So we've got a lot of progression points. Um, we still actually have a couple to pop in here if we want to do that. Um, but 90 offensive awareness with 10 into shooting, 12 into dribbling, 15 into dexterity, 2 into passing, and 8 into lower body strength. Now, we can mess around with that a little bit if we want a different version of him, but his player skills are going to up whatever is lacking in the stats, right? So my main goal with him was to get up his balance, which is quite low. Like, that's the big problem, right? It's not about his acceleration and speed. I see a lot of people sometimes question, oh, you know, you don't need to make him that fast, but the balance for a center forward that's going to be the way I play, that's going to be taking on a lot of one-on-ones um, -on and spinning the defenders, the better your balance, the lower your uh, body is to the ground, you know, your actual uh, center of gravity. So that's why the likes of Mario, with his height and with that balance stat being so good, is able to just spin defenders very, very easily. And the defending at the moment in V2.4 is a little bit less responsive than the attacking. Um, so you can make, you know, make... Uh, make hay while the sun is shining there so to speak right so 90 offensive awareness 90 acceleration then we've got 86 stamina which is quite decent and 87 finishing so all i will be doing with him is using him as a very very good fox in the box getting on the end of everything and i do think that he is a pretty decent player so that is it lads for the japanese epics we have also got seven days to spin those let me know if you're going to spin or skip i'm I don't know, man. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I don't know what to do. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me a, vi a video of me spinning them. Because, in fairness, I've really enjoyed playing with the likes of Ito and the likes of Matoma and the likes of those players that have been either special editions or the Japanese box as well. I really enjoy playing with that. Some brilliant players in it. Um, and I would like to play with Miura as well just to kind of get a couple of videos with him. But let me know what the crack is. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back quite soon. Hope you're enjoying the videos. And I'll, pe I'll, uh, I'll be back in a bit. Peace.